as a form of expression and the conversation can begin and stop there. People and their hair usually tell the kind of person that they are, um, like no matter the race or, or whatever, or even religion, because often, you know, showing your hair is something that's very powerful. And so um, in some religions, they cover it for that reason. And so I think hair tells, you know, it gives you a big clue as to the type of person um, someone is. I think when your hair looks good, you feel like the best version of yourself. Like it, it has an impact on your identity and how people see you. So I think when your hair looks good, you feel like, yeah, this is how I want to be seen by the world. And I feel good about it. If you, for example, are wearing a weave and that's what you want to do and that's how you want to express yourself, there's nothing wrong with doing that. And we shouldn't feel like we should be relegated to being like, oh, like I have hair like this, so I'm a true sister. And like somebody who has straight hair, she, she's, you know, she, you know, maybe she thinks she has identity issues. Like that is, I feel like that's a dangerous conversation as well because it kind of feeds into the idea of black people. Um, policing themselves in public spaces. It, it goes into the conversation about policing yourself. So I feel like everybody should have the right to express themselves how they want to express themselves. I think what needs to be tackled is the mindset and the conversation behind what you're doing, what you're doing. So for example, if you are wearing a weave because you feel that um, you will not be accepted as somebody of a particular ilk because if you don't have a weave, maybe you're unkept or what have you, or you're socialized to feel like that's better, then a conversation needs to be had. But if you have a clear sense of self and who you are, and you just want to wear a weave because that's a form of expression, that's a completely separate thing. So in conversations like this as well, that's something that I like to make clear, you know, about hair. So for example, you could catch me next year and I might just have a weave down to my ankles because that's how I feel but I know I'm doing that because that's a form of self-expression rather than a form of self-policing. There's so much emotional um, charge behind hair that actually, I don't know if I can always discuss hair with everyone because I feel like, you know, sometimes, you know, if women aren't at that place where they feel that comfortable with their hair, then they take anything you're saying as an attack. If, you, if someone is, is still dealing with deep insecurity, just talking about your journey in terms of your own kind of kinky hair is going to be enough to kind of set them off into a defense, into a bloody like storm of defensiveness about their weave, you know. So <laughs> I think people know when this not working for them, so they get angry at you. <laughs> so.